Welcome guys to Sonoma for race 6 I believe here in the Pepsi Night Owl Cup Series. So let's get right to your starting lineup. On the pole is Ben Goldberg with Dunder Johnson on the front row. Roman Rehal, Nick Pericles, and Daniel Smallwood ran at top five. Uh, Marchese, Joey Wright, Bruce Loya, Dom Caps, and Ryan Keese are on the top ten. And look at the rest of the starting lineup here for South or for Sonoma. So it was an exciting race here. Some road course racing. Uh, no cautions here, so for course racing. So let's get this thing underway. Wait for the command. Drivers, start your engines! The engines are fired, and we're getting ready here to roll off the grid, and we're off. Looks like everyone starts out okay. The big story this weekend is the Roush Fenway cars as they take three of the top five positions in qualifying. Can one of them bring it home to victory for Roush? Or maybe Ben Goldberg can hold on. And green flag is in the air at Sonoma. Dunder Johnson hanging tough on, and it's Dunder Johnson that's going to prevail and take the lead. Dunder Johnson taking the lead. Oh, we got a contact. Three wide. I don't know about three wide. Ben Goldberg is just having a very bad first lap right now as the pole sitter is dropping like a rock right now. Oh, whoa, the 01 of Bruce Loya. He's in trouble. More carnage behind him. Loya's got a ton of damage. Oh, Matthew Rodriguez into him. More people crashed. 25. Abe Troxel. Let's take a look what happened to him. Oh, the. Okay, I want to see what happens to the O1 here of Bruce Loya. He's racing with the 16, and they're going through the S's. I want to see if there's any contact made here. Oh, Bruce Loya just loses it off the curb in the S's and just ran into the 16 of Nick Pericles, and... You see in the back there, there was a big, I think it was, a, it was just a chain reaction. A big chain reaction here into the S's following the crash of Bruce Loya. And it starts up here with the 38 and the 32. Oh, and the 36 is just stuck in the middle. And that's what creates that wreck. And... It's just a chain reaction, and there's the 36 getting turned, and they all just get thrown into this wall tire barrier, and that takes a lot of damage. So that's what happened there. The big one on lap one happens. Let's go live with Johnson. So Dunder Johnson right now. Let's go through the field. Johnson first. Anthony Marchese second. Nick Pericles third. Ryan Kesey 4th, Roman Rehal 5th, Jared Homeshack 6th, Van Goldberg 7th, Avery Pedro 8th, Joey Wright 9th, Daniel Smallwood 10th, Patrupatel 11th, Wayne Carson 12th, Dom Caps 13th, 
Smallwood, Brad Lewis, Drew McMonagle, David Harbottle, it. Alex Pedro, Matthew Rodriguez, Max Smith, Marco Martinez, David Bacchus, Eric Willis, David Cohen, Cameron Gadu, Kyle Kesey, Andrew Rich, Robert Hartso, Michael Stewart, Rusty Babinski, Ben Gerhardt, Bo Dinger, Eric Benson, Dan Johnson, Rob Pretty, and Nick Caps. Kind of route, and that is all the cars on the racetrack. Bruce Loya, Abe Troxel, Zachary Fitzwater, and the 09 have all DNF'd here today. Now, does the six have this one? I don't know because. Uh, Anthony Marchese is going to try his hardest to get his first win of the season. Dunder Johnson still looking for his first win. Dunder Johnson pretty high in points, so this is going to really boost his day if he can hold on to this win. Let's ride on board with 24 of Anthony Marchese and see how it looks in front of him. Really drive in there into the hairpin turn 11. That lap, Marchese ran a minute 14 5 1 to a 3 1 4 of Johnson. So Johnson a tenth quicker on that lap. Looks like we're pretty much settled settled down. Yeah, I think I think everyone's realized what happened on lap one. They've all settled down. Caps has fallen a position to Eric Smallwood, so there was a pass for a position. Top 10 looks like it's remained the same for the most part. We'll put, put the standings up to see if there's any changes throughout the field. But right now, Dunder Johnson's got his lead at 1.16 as of last time. Oh, and Marchese cuts it down to about eight tenths of a second. So Marchese had a great lap that time. Bye. And Connor Root is up there. He could become lap traffic before the end of this race. And that could mess up the six of Dunder Johnson. Nick Pericles is starting to creep in here too, so if Marchese can get to Dunder Johnson and they start battling, look out for that 16 of Pericles, who is high in the points. I think South Boston didn't really go his way. He was falling back, but I think he rebounded for a nice solid finish. So Pericles could be looking at another strong point stay. These Roush Fenway guys, they are really proving that they want to be in the championship hunt. Come Washington, D.C. for race 20 at the end of the season. These guys are proving to be strong. Marchese hasn't had the best luck this, this so far this season. It started off bad at Daytona when he got caught up in the wreck in the beginning of the race. And it really just didn't help him at all. So hopefully Marchese could hold on here for a good finish. Someone up here I want to point out here in ninth. Joey Wright. What a strong run for him compared to his season. He is 
I don't even think he's escaped the top 35 in a race for finishing wise so he's always been pretty fast it's just he hasn't caught any luck and right now it looks like if he can just mind his own right here he's gonna get a top 10 finish which really will help him maybe just get some confidence something to start this season because right now I don't even know if he can even get back up for a championship hunt but anything can happen and it's gonna start today if he can hold on for this top 10 finish go up back up to Johnson as a point four, and it will be point five six. so Marchese is closing the gap Marchese has been able to it seems like one lap Marchese is faster than the next it will be Johnson so I wonder if Marchese if he can get up to the bumper if he'll use that bumper and move Johnson out of the way You can tell the gap is getting smaller. Johnson is basically this season is minding his own. He has not really been spectacular, but he hasn't fallen out. He's just been quietly up there in the front. And that's what it might take to be championship contender come the final two races at Zenjoltis and Washington, D.C. See, the 24, I think, of Marchese is just better through turn 11 than Johnson, which is really helping Marchese. But you can tell this time by the gap really widened after that one. It was two tenths faster for Johnson. So it's like one lap it goes to Johnson and one lap goes to Marchese. Pericles has cut the gap a little bit, but I don't think he's going to have enough time with four to go here to even contend for the win because he'll have to get by Marchese. I just think Johnson's in cruise control right now to where he could be saving his stuff a couple laps. And right now he just can't afford a mistake. Marchese can make mistakes here trying to get to the win, but he... Oh, and you can see Pericles is closing in on Marchese. Nick Pericles, he has closed that gap on Anthony Marchese. Could have a battle for second getting ready to brew here. As Marchese was not gaining on Johnson one bit here. Coming to three laps to go at Sonoma. See the gap. Ah, Marchese was six one hundredths quicker, but Pericles was the fastest that time as he gained four tenths right there on Johnson, but six tenths on Marchese. Or six tenths off of Marchese right now. Three laps to go. I don't know if Connor Root's gonna be in the way. I don't think he's got that much damage, so I think we're gonna be fine. Johnson's gonna have a clear track here. There's a 12 right there of Kesey. But right now, it just doesn't seem like Marchese has the car to go run down the 6 of Johnson right now. He's just in striking distance, but I think he's going to need a mistake from Johnson to have the chance to win this race. Johnson started second. Great run. Great start for him. can't say that same for Ben Goldberg he was the pole sitter and he slipped to seventh in the first couple corners he just didn't get a good start whatsoever and it just killed him I mean it absolutely killed him and that could really just come back to haunt him here today as a win was really after he got the pole, he was looking solid for a win, and it just didn't come through for him today. Gap is wide now. I mean, 
Paracos was off. He lost four tenths that lap. Arcazier lost two tenths that lap. I think Johnson's just got this right now as long as he doesn't make a mistake. We're coming to the white flag this time, so Marchese is going to just run out of time. And Paracles, I don't know if he'll be able to catch Marchese. Paracles has closed it up, closed the gap here for second. That might be the battle fear coming to the checker. But we're coming to the white flag. Dunder Johnson. But a great run for this team. Looking to lead every lap today. White flags in the air for Thunder Johnson. Lap traffic will not be a problem. Connor Root is up to speed. And I think he he might have been involved in the wreck. I, don't, I can't remember, but... He doesn't have much damage from it, or he had a tire issue lap or in the beginning, but I don't think Paracles is going to get Marchese, so I think this is it. Thunder Johnson rounds turn seven down the S's for the final time today. Thunder Johnson. Roush Fenway is going to take three of the top five positions today. And I believe they're all going to finish in the top 20 with Matthew Rodriguez back there in 19th. Rounding turn four. Dunder Johnson will take the checkered flag and get his first one of the season. Dunder Johnson wins at Sonoma. Today, it was Thunder Johnson that had the fastest car, and he really deserved to win today. Thunder Johnson is your winner at Sonoma. Great run for him. And next race, we will see you at, I'm trying to look here, Talladega. We will be at Talladega next week. We will see you there, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you at Talladega. Congratulations to Dunning Johnson again for taking home the victory at Sonoma.